back. We are back. Out here on Caney Creek Lake, man. This is a, a really cool place. I actually didn't get the chance to fish here last time we were here. Um, I ended up bypassing and going straight to Bussy Break. But uh, really cool place, man. A lot of big fish. If you guys pay attention to the internet at all, Man, the pictures they've been posting from this place and Bussy Break both this year, unbelievable. It's crazy, but we're here a little bit later. It's uh, most of the fish are post-spawn, in my opinion. There's a very few still spawning, and then you kind of got a shad spawn going on, and you got bluegill spawning. So there's a lot of things going on, but uh, she's she's been a little bit of stingy. This is day two of practice. I fished all day yesterday. It rained and weather was weird, so you guys didn't get opportunity to to see that, but. Um, we were out here and uh, it just wasn't, it wasn't great, but the ones I did catch, <laughs> they got some, they got some meat in this place, man. I'm just going to say that, but uh, trying to get dialed in, trying to get figured out. We got one more day of practice. I need to spend a little bit of time at Bussy Break, but I need to spend most of my time here because the qualifying round and the knockout round, both here on Caney Lake. So. We need to figure out a way to get several bites, and I haven't figured that out yet. Um, we've been doing a lot of live scoping, of course, and pitching drop shot, pitching nacle rigs, jerk bait, chatter bait, things like that. The grass is growing up here good, Caney Lake, which is which is really good to see. That's probably one of the number one reasons this place is so healthy, man. So today is just more trying to figure it out, man. So you guys come along for the ride. I'm gonna try to piece this puzzle together, man, and see if. Uh, we can't win us a couple hundred thousand dollars. Not just a hundred, but a couple hundred. Big money on the line this week. Heavy hitters. That's not even a two pounder. They gotta be two pounds this week. That's a pound nine. Maybe. So for all my all my fans out there, not fans, but all the folks that watch, that love the every fish count format, we're going back to that this week. Heavy hitters is every fish counts two pound minimum. So like that one right there, solid fish, but he's probably like a one nine, one ten, something like that. Not quite, not quite a scoreable. And this place has got some hammers. In my opinion, this is the lake we should be doing, you know, five fish. Just because there's a lot of big ones and guys could put up some really nice stringers, you know. But we're doing every fish counts on this one. So, but it's all good. The format don't matter. You're gonna have to catch them regardless. But that's the format for the week. And, um, should be fun, man. We just got to figure out how to generate a good number of bites. All right, two and a half. Maybe spawned out skinny, but you know. Got a, got a piece to puzzle together, man. Out here panning, you know? Working that live scope. What's crazy is, check it out, so on these cut boats, we can't put, we don't have live scope. I gotta use whatever they got. So they got active target on a nine inch unit, so we're gonna have to make that work. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's gonna be what it's gonna be.
got one. Kind of. Caney Lake. This ain't this ain't it right here, bro. This guy right here. And you got to be careful with them. Not what we came here for. This ain't what we came, man. You the same size as my dirt bait, big dog. Come on. What's really going on? You hold him out, you know. Hey, look, you get him close enough to the screen, he's a 10-pounder. But really, he's just a six-incher. Good old Caney Lake. Land of the Giants. Come here, they said. You catch bigs. Shot up out of there so quick. Oh. Mm, got that. I say he got it. He got it, but he ain't two pounds. Spawned out. Baby boy. That, that felt good though. That was that was a bite. Post Malone. Look how skinny this fish is. Super shallow. Post thin is real. I mean, that's a, he's just a little bit over two pounds. But he train wrecked that swim jig, and that's all fun and dandy, but I think they're, most of them are headed that way, out. But, hey, a two pounder is a two pounder. And I'll take them, every single one of them. They come in here, so this is the first area that gets hot back here. So they come in here and the, and the first group will spawn. You know what I mean? And then they get back here, they get their thing done, and then they, they start sliding back out. I ain't retired that in a long time. Dang. That was a good one. <laughs> Casey, you good luck, bro. You good luck. 
Every time I see you, I get a bite. That's a wrap. Day two. Day two of practice is done, man. Out here on Caney. Tough day today, man. Um, I anticipate getting a lot more bites than we got. That's just fishing, though, man. But uh, this place has got them, man. Of course, I didn't fish any areas where I got bit yesterday, but I was just hoping that fishing in general would be a little bit easier. The fish would be a little more apt to bite, and that's just not the case, man. So it's all good. We got one more day. Um, we might spend a little bit of time over at Bussy Break tomorrow, but main focus is gonna be here on Caney. We gotta figure this bad boy out because if you don't catch him here, you ain't gonna ever even see Bussy. So that's the plan. And uh, yeah, we stick it to it. This is the final day of practice right here. And it's a little chilly, man. I thought I could hang with just a hoodie. Then that wind start gusting a little bit. Y'all know me, y'all know me. I don't do it, I don't play with it. It's amazing how something like, so thin like this, it makes all the difference in the world because it blocks that freaking wind, man. I do not like being cold. And it's not cold, it's just, it's cool. Cooler than I want to be. But anyway, big day today, big weather changes, temperature drop, cloud cover, overcast. You can see them. Super duper shallow. Pan over there, Colin. Show him what's popping over here. We need some skinny, skinny. You know, just uh, checking it out, man. Seeing, seeing what might be living back here. I thought there might be a little bit of a shad spawn this morning. Not seeing much activity. They don't like temperature drops like that either, but sometimes those bass will kind of position, anticipating on them being there, but. So far, not the case, but we just made a couple casts. We got a long, long day today, and uh, we're going to fish deep today. We're going to fish super shallow, and in between, I'm going to do a little bit of everything. Might even go look for some bedding fish a little bit, too. I've seen three on bed. I ain't banking on that, but there are a couple stragglers, so we shall see. All right, little, little glide action this morning for the first bite. We'll take that. Over the tops of the grass, just called him up. I seen him get on it, started hitting it, hitting it, and he just stunk. That's how you want it right there. Yeah. Tromo, you see that? Mm hmm Dang. Huh. Hmm. So this week, of course, it's a lot of money up for grabs on big bass. Heavy hitters, obviously, hence the name. And, uh, you know, big, big baits get big bites, man. And that's just what it is. So what I'm doing with these glide bait is 
they have a lot of drawing power. What I mean by that is one sees that, uh, oftentimes he's gonna make an attempt to either not eat it necessarily, but he's gonna come give it a good look. And so it kind of gives you an idea of what's living in the area for one, and then a big fish, a lot of times, I was a three pounder, but a real big one will smoke something like this. Um, and this is, a, this is a small bait. I might even actually tie the bigger one on. Um, you know, but things like that are what kind of help clue us in as fishermen. So I'm just running this on the top of grass right now. I'll do this on the top of, um, you know, standing timber, on the sides of docks, just to draw them out, get the strike, and uh, or, or not, just see what's there, and then come back, and then you can kind of change your approach. But these things definitely have the power that, that, that to make a bass come look at it, and that's key. That's why we throw these things. First, that's how you want them to eat it. Pound and a half. Changed it up, square bill. I figured that might do something. Yep, just a different little action. A lot of chatter baits been getting casted out here, post spawner. And, uh, switched it up with a little square bill action. Do.
Easy release, quick release. That's three bites in like two minutes. Gosh, see, I got super cold here for a minute too, man. Y'all know I don't play with that cold, man. That wind been blowing, it's been freezing. But anyway, that sun's trying to break through. It's trying to warm up just a hair, but I switched to a square bill and in five minutes had three bites, three bites, a three pounder and two pecker heads. So, might be something to that. Caney Lake. Come here, you catch biggins. None but biggins in here. Don't do a lot of worms. Hey, I can tell you, I'm just trying to be certain that there ain't a couple solid ones hidden down in there, but I know where I'm not coming. But God, I can't believe how many of them are down here. It's unbelievable. Look the screen. They all underneath the boat. They out in front of the boat. They everywhere, and we out here deep on this road bed, which I'm sure is a mega community hole. What's up, bro? How you doing? You wreck him. What's that? You wreck him? Oh, no. No, sir. Come on, man. No, we trying to save it all for tomorrow. That's right. I broke off a, a legend, a Chad Chad. What? A chair chair or a legend? Legend. Or, or a glide bait. Yeah, I'm aware. How you break him off? On the cast. I was sitting there casting it and it went poo and it broke like literally right here. Oh. And it landed where my truck was at and I like trolled over and it's like, no! Oh. And then I watched it go down on an after party. Oh, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's time to get it together. Practice is a wrap, man. Uh, I'm Group A, so I fish tomorrow. So I'm out here putting some new cigar on all the on all the rods, man. Um, kind of a recap of practice, man. You know, we got out here the first day of practice, and fishing was decent. It was okay. It was pretty good. You know, a lot of big ones got caught, um, and the bite frequency was was decent. It was okay. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. 
But I feel like after, you know, three days out here on this pond, which is a very small pond, two and a half days for some guys, I feel like <clears throat> between us and the locals, the local pressure here on Canyon Lake is pretty intensive. You know, it's a world-class fishery. People coming from all over, plus the people that live here to fish, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of big bass. And I just feel like that pressure is really setting in, man. And it's starting to affect the fish straight up. Like, they're very apprehensive. You'll, you'll pan out there on live scope, you'll see one, and you can pitch over to him, and then boom, he's out of there. Like, you know, they, the, the, the way they're responding to bait now, they're doing a lot of following and a lot of like, uh, I don't think so. Doing a lot of that, and that's and that just tells me that the fishing pressure is starting to starting to kick in on them. So, you know, I'm excited to get out there tomorrow. Um, I just I don't know what fishing is going to be like, man. You know, I had some bites doing a lot of different things. That's a little loud, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I had bites doing a lot of different things. I'm basically just junk fishing, though, man. Um, caught them on crankbait, chatterbait, jerkbait. Uh, Nico rig, drop shot, glide baits, a host of baits, man. So we're going to be junk fishing pretty much. And uh, this is heavy hitters, man. So hopefully we get a couple of those big girls to show up. And, uh, yeah, man, that's all we can do. If we're going to fish hard, leave it all out there on the water, man. Throw all these different baits, man. I'm about to rig up probably like 15 rods <laughs> to slide out there tomorrow. Be nice to get a couple bites on that on that glider, man. Those will be your better than average fish for sure. But uh, hey, I'll take a seven pounder on a on a drop shot too. I caught a <clears throat> I caught a seven pounder in practice on a Nico rig, and I had another big one on chatterbait. And I know they got caught some really big ones on drop shot. I mean, that's all again signage of the pressure, man. The finesse fishing is gonna be. You're gonna see a mark my words. You're gonna see a lot of people on live with spinning rods in their hand. Just remember, I told you that. Just remember. Mark did say that. This is what it's going to be. Because you're going to have to finesse up, I feel like, to get some of these fish to bite. It's over with. I just got the shower. It's about to be night-night time. Day one, some more heavy hitters. And uh, we got to catch some bass, man. O'Kaney trying to get a little tough on us. After a couple days of practice, man, I don't like that. She need to loosen up a little bit. What y'all boys think, man? What, we, what, what, what that cutway going to be looking like? Oh, oh, oh. Cut weight. Um, man, I'm, I'm going to say. What is it, top eight? It's top eight that advance on to the knockout round. Now, the knockout round will be back on Kane. Okay? So I think pounds. it's going to be tougher. 34? 34 pounds. I said, I said it was going to be 35. 30, 17 and a half of that. 17 and a half of that. You know what's crazy is you can, have, you can blank day one and come out here and drop a bag and, and be fine. And still be fine. And literally, that's how that's how crazy. Yeah, yeah potentially. Yeah, I mean, because it, 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 there's big ones, but the right thing that the, 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 the term that I always use though, bite frequency. Huh. That's a ter I, I coined that too. You can go put that in the Webster hours. dictionary. Bite frequency is always so important, and what I mean by that is like, like what Dustin's about to say, bro. You can go hell long without getting a bite. Yeah. But the guy that can continuously generate a bite, you know, and it may be every 30 minutes or whatever, you know, he's constantly getting a bite. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's the guy that's going, you know, the averages are in his favor for sure. The problem is this one thing in Kenny that really is unique is they are either 10 to 14 inches long. Yeah. Or they are two and a half to 10 pounds. That's it. Like, it does not seem, I'm not saying that you won't catch a two pounder. Yeah. The majority of the bass, and the majority of them are like three plus. When you get above, like, it's a scoreable aspect. I'm not saying you can't catch a two pounder, because you're going to catch a post spawn two, two and a half. Yeah. But it's a very unique deal. It's like, this tournament will fish very much so like a five fish limit tournament. To be honest with you, there will be anglers that will catch three bass a day. They make the cut. 100%. Yeah. Because they get three big bites a day. A five, a seven, and a four and a half. And then the next day they do the same thing and they got a giant bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
That match cut. Actually, yeah. I, I would, I would say it's probably about right. Yeah. So what would you be happy with, Mark? I know yeah, you'd be happy your with goal 30 pounds. Go away, 18, 20 pounds? 22? 70. Man, I, I mean, know. this is all fish matters. All I, fish count. All fish matters. All the fish matters. <laughs> no, we ain't going. Hey, we going. Hey, we, we going back. We're going back now. Hey, look, y'all thought y'all was gonna get best five? Nope. Not this time. Nah. You want, we're going back. You want Dr. Pepper? You get Mr. Pib. <laughs> Straight up, man. Dr. Thunder. Hey, Sam. Sam's choice. You got Sam's choice. Sam's choice. What's Pepsi. another Coca Cola alternative? RC. Pepsi. RC Cola. Cola. RC Cola is like the that's like the bottom of the barrel. Cola. Gosh, that's a Walmart Coca. Hey, what's right? uh, uh what's root beer? beer? What's root beer? A and W. All right, what's the other one, Mister Bill? Bargs. Bargs. Oh, yeah, hey, Stewart's. Bargs. <laughs> Stewart's good. Stewart's good. Stewart's good. Stewart's good right? Mug root beer. Oh yeah, yeah. Mug. You want you want mug? A and W. You get A and W. You get. I hate root beer. Oh, I like root beer. Root beer is very good. Root beer is absolutely disgusting. Hey, root beer, what? Hey, root beer candy is even more fun. Hey, somebody comment uh, below. I like Please that. comment below. Is root beer good or not? I'm telling you, I put a poll out. Root beer fire. A long time it ago, is. me and my wife did, and like 70% of people said no. Root they don't like root beer? I said, it's delicious, it's trash. 70% of people said trash. Really? I don't like 3,000 people voted. Hey, what, hey, what y'all think is gonna be leading tomorrow? That's a question. Uh, I'm gonna say ten bass for forty-seven pounds. Ten for forty-seven. God. <laughs> ten what? for forty-seven. No, I'm gonna say forty-seven pounds. And not ten. I just want to see what you guys would say. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that high. I'm gonna say thirty-four pounds is gonna be leading. Thirty-four. No. There'll be there'll be somebody that's five away thirty pounds more. I doubt that. There'll be at least high twenty. We, fi we fished our butt off today, all three of us, that, and we that. ain't caught five a piece that over two pounds. You didn't catch five over two pounds. I didn't catch five over two pounds. Five over two pounds. I did you not. did? Yeah. Oh, I hooked five. That. He didn't tell us that. I didn't. I did not. I hooked five. I doubt somebody catches thirty. Somebody comment below if they're gonna catch thirty. Like you're in comment the below. Of, comment you're, below. The video is gonna post after the tournament, so just look at the results. And the <laughs> <laughs> I love doing. And that. you'll always be right. <laughs> hey, look. Let's go to another subject. <laughs> they straight up murked the whole family. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family. <laughs> Somebody pan the camera. Through. I know. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the little man in the middle, the yeah. family is gone. <laughs> there's daddy. <laughs> there's mommy. And they said, <laughs> "Oh, there's the baby." <laughs> Their whole generation's gone. Hey, hey, it's on the wall. You think they're real? <laughs> yes, they're real. Them, those are real? Yes. No, that's the thing. How are they not? If they have antlers, they're not a they're what? not a what girl. They're not, not a female. No. no. That's, a, that's, a I mean, that's, that's the female right there. That's no the male. Hundred percent females have the horns on Do they? Them. Yes. Uh, what are those? They can. They, they can. Unicorns. Really? Females can have horns. Unicorns. What are they, bro? They're little baby ones. They're uh, like, are they mountain goats. No, no, they're not. They're from like Africa. Yeah. They're uh, they're like kind of Impala family or something. Yeah, Impala. That's what that is. And Impala. So females have females have antlers too. They can. Oh, well, well, that I mean, one looks like a girl though. See the yeah, see the, the eyelashes. eyelashes. I'm peeped She's got the eyelashes on <laughs> there. Right she's got a little bit of eyelash. She's like got a more feminine face. The yeah, face she is, does. She like, she did, she did her makeup. I, I like, looked over. I was like, the whole fam's gone. Damn. It's a hog. Listen, they're yeah. all in a better place. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they're still together. <laughs> they're still together, bro. Oh, yeah. Hey, bro. They they lay together. They they, they stay together, yeah, bro. Imagine going to to a corn pile and have your whole family get murked. <laughs> Everybody murked. It's like, hey, I know a good spot to go get dinner. You roll up there. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. Oh, Damn, my Mark, God. I'm sorry. Hey, bro. This is what we do. <laughs> hey, this is what really be going down when we out here on the road. Hey, we've been away, hey, we've been away from civilization for hella long. We've been out on them boats for 12 hours a day. Sun beating on our heads, man. Hey, we get a little cuckoo.
And this is what we do do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to have this story below us. Somebody's going to say, somebody's been drinking too many beers or this uh, and that. Yeah. No, we're no, literally we're just tired. We're just sun drunk. We're just tired. 